Hello everybody and welcome to the Orbit Crochet channel. Uh, today we're going to be talking about granny squares. Now granny squares they're just so gorgeous, they're traditional, so you can make so many different things out of it. I've made um, those little cup warmer jackets to go um, over my mugs of coffee in the morning. I've made blankets. You can make teddy bears and gloves and mittens. You can make so many different things out of granny squares. Now here's a selection of a few I've got here. This one it's so pretty. This is left over from a baby blanket I made this Christmas. I love these colours and the yarn I used, it's got this lovely shiny sheen on it that's really pretty. Uh, this one, gorgeous. I absolutely love these pinks and the contrast together. Or you can make them in, oh, let me remove my hair. You can make them in a solid colour like this one here, nice and solid, which is really pretty. Or like these two, you can make them entirely out of scraps. Now, this is one of my favourite things because I don't like to um, waste anything. I really don't like to waste any yarn whatsoever. And I always end up with little scraps. Now, this piece here, sorry, this piece here is a little scrap. I don't know, maybe it's about a foot long, a bit longer than a foot. And it's left over from um, a hat that I was making for my husband and I finished last night. It's gorgeous. It's a chunky yarn and I used a six millimeter needle uh, hook to make this. And it's really lovely. Now this I will save and will end up going into a scrap blanket or a, uh, a granny square to make a scrap blanket. I have one scrap blanket that started off as a granny square uh, like this and then I've added more and more rows onto the end of, uh, of these. I keep going round and round and round and it's so big it fits a double bed now and uh, husband Mr. Orbit says he would like it to get um, so big that it drapes down the side and touches the floor. So it's going to be a bedspread eventually. But I like to make them out of scraps that are from the end of a project. And for me, that means it's really filled with memories and it's, it just makes it special for me. And whatever your taste is, make it that way. You can make solid block colours like this. You can make them, you know, out of any colours you want and again like these two make them out of scraps make them whatever you want that's the great thing about your project it is your project and it is your choice so we're going to do that today we're going to learn how to make a granny square I have chosen these three colours <clears throat> we have a dark purple we have a lavender and a red uh, these are ends of projects I always keep hold of them I wind them up and I've got a big bowl full of yarn scraps like that. I've got lots of different ones here. Let me just pull a couple out for you. Uh, oh, this is unwound. This is a really pretty one with some silvery uh, thread in there. I've got pinks and oranges and all sorts of colours in there. But I chose these for today and you can use whatever you like. Most of the yarn that you can buy um, cheaply these days you know if you go to Wilco or if you go to Home Bargains or even into Hobbycraft which is my favourite place for buying yarn um, you get an awful lot of what we call double knit yarn and that's what we used for the other tutorials and that's what this is all three of these are double knit weight okay and so recommended for double knit is a four millimetre hook four millimeters okay so we're going to get started i think we're going to begin with the smallest because if you look in the granny square you use more yarn for each one that we do each round we're only going to be doing three rounds for this one so we're going to start with the red because it's the smallest part so let's have a look now we're going to make our slip knot so we yarn over our finger twice, pull the first loop over the second one and then leapfrog that second loop all the way over and straight off our finger. Tighten it up. Now 
make sure it slips along your hook nicely. Now for this granny square we're going to chain four. One, two, wrap it round, pull it through, three and four. So you can see you've got four chains on there. You make them nice and loose so that it's easy to work because we're going to now insert our hook and turn this into a little circle. So you can see this first um, chain that we've got here at the front here, this very first one. I want to slip into there. Okay, let's do that again. Put my hook straight into there. Then I want to yarn over, so my hook's in, yarn over and pull through both loops on the hook. That is a slip stitch. Okay, let me do that again for you. Without undoing. So we have our chain. We go into the very first one, not the knot, the first stitch, yarn over and pull through both loops on our hook. Now, if you look carefully, you will find that there is a hole in the middle and that is the center of our stitch. And that's where we're going to be working next. So first of all, chain three. This is going to count this time. Remember when we were making our little swatch, our little pattern, we didn't count that chain as a stitch, but this time we will. And as you can see also, the slip knot is stretching out a little bit to give us some space there in the middle. So we're going to yarn over because we're going to be using double crochets. And we're going to make two double crochets into that center hole, okay? Yarn over, into there, yarn over, and pull up a loop. Yarn over, pull through two. Yarn over, pull through the last two. That's a double crochet. Yarn over, go into the center, and pull up a loop. Yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. And there we have made our first cluster, which constitutes the granny stitch. Let me just pull this back over. That's one of these, or any of these really. They're made up of clusters of three. Okay, now because we're technically in the center and making corners, we need to chain two. So we've chained two and as you can see we've made a corner. We're going to yarn over and we, this time we're going to make three double crochets into the center because if you remember the chain counted as one so that's one, two, three. We need another three in the center. So we go into the center, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, that's one. Yarn over, go into the center, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over and pull through two. My yarn wants to be a superstar. <laughs> so let's do the last one. Yarn over, go into the center, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. Fantastic. You can see it forming now. We've got two parts of that very center. So we chain two again as we're moving round, yarn over and we make another three cluster in the center. In the center, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. Yarn over, go into the center and pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. One more. 
and that completes that stitch. So we've got three now. We've got three parts of our center granny. So let's have a look. Two more chains right there and we're going to make one more cluster in the center. Yarn over into the center, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, go into the center and pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over and pull through two. And there we have four granny clusters for the center of our square. Now, we need to join this part with this part. Now what we need to do is exactly the same as we've done on the other corners. We need to chain two. And we're going to do that slip stitch that we did at the beginning. Now, to find the position, you need to count to the top of this chain. Now it was a chain of three, so this is the first chain, this is the second, and this is the third. So we need to go into there, and if you look at the back there, you can see the V, yarn over, and then we pull through both loops on our hook. And we now have our square. Now I'm going to just pull that out and lay this down because I want to come to the back and I'm going to tug that loose bit a little bit tighter. Give it a good tug there. Okay, and so that's closed us up a bit and you can see now that we've got our granny square forming nicely. That's the beginning. So go ahead and snip your yarn. And pull it through. We can weave in all of these ends later on with a yarn needle. We can deal with that later. OK, so next I'm going to use this lovely deep purple colour. So in order to join a new colour, I'm just going to go over to a, a fresh corner, we need to go into this space, this chain two space. This is what we call a chain two space. So I'm going to just bend the yarn over my hook. All right, so I'm going to go in, bend the yarn over my hook, pull it through yarn over. I use both ends to create a knot and then pull through. Yarn over and pull through. So I've basically just created a little knot. So we're going to chain three. One, two and three. All right, let's do that again. So we put our hook through the chain two space. We just loosely loop it over the hook and pull it through that chain two space. Then holding both pieces, yarn over and pull it through that loop. And then we've created a little knot that will hold itself in place and we can weave that little end in later with our yarn needle. So let's chain three and we can continue with our square. So this counts as our first double crochet. Yarn over, go into the chain two space, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. Yarn over, go into the chain two space and pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. Now if you see what I did there, I have now yarned over that end, making it a little bit more secure in there. And you can do that or you can just leave it dangling and then using your uh, yarn needle you can weave in the ends and I'll show you how to do that in the end. So we need to chain two. Now 
and we're going to go over to this corner here. Now some people only chain one there and that depends upon the thickness of your yarn but a lot of people chain two. Now you will see lots of different ways of doing a granny um, square and you can choose whichever is best for you. If you want one chain in there, fine, but it's always two chains in the corner. So yarn over, go into that space, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. Yarn over, go into the corner space and pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. So chain one, it's chain one in between the corners, so a side makes a is a chain one. We're going to yarn over and do a cluster of three into the next corner space. So yarn over, go into the space and pull up a loop. Yarn over, pull through two. Yarn over, pull through two. Yarn over the hook, go into the space and pull up a loop. Yarn over, pull through two. Yarn over and pull through two. We've got two there, now we need one more. Yarn over. Go into the chain two space and pull up a loop. Yarn over, pull through two, yarn over and pull through two. So now because this is a corner, we need to create a new corner. So we've got a cluster of three, we need to chain two and do another cluster of three into here. Yarn over into the space and pull up a loop, yarn over, there we are, should be quite practiced at doing this double crochet by the end of this, remember it's one chain on a side, yarn over and go into this next corner space and pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, and pull through two. Yarn over, go into the space and pull up a loop. Yarn over, pull through two. Yarn over and pull through two. One more time. So you can see now that our granny square is growing. We're going to do exactly the same for the rest. So chain two and do one more granny cluster of three double crochets into this space. chain one for the side and then we're going to go into the next space here to create a corner. When we create a corner it's usually two granny clusters separated by two chains. So it's three double crochet, chain two, three double crochet. So here's the chain two. Now we want three more double crochet in there and you'll find that that knot that we've got there is going to get naturally covered up by these double crochet stitches. So we've got to do one more over here to finish off this corner. So we chain one because this is a side yarn over and go into this space, yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over and pull through those two, yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. 
and one more time yarn over go into the space and pull up a loop yarn over and pull through two yarn over and pull through two now all we have to do is close this up chain two each corner consists of two clusters of three and a chain two so one two three this is the one we're going into the top of the chain three go through both parts yarn over and pull through the loop on your hook and there you have it we've got the next round finished so I yarn over and pull through that snip my yarn give it a little tug to create a knot and there we have the center of the next round that's great now we've got one more round to do because we're going to only do three rounds on this but you can make your granny squares as big as you like um, depending on whatever project you're doing we shall do one more now this time I'm going to join in the middle so I'm going to insert my hook loosely loop the yarn over my hook and pull it through then holding both parts I'm going to yarn over and pull through that loop then drop the little dangly end yarn over and chain three so yarn over now we need two more in here to make a cluster There we go. All right. So that's the first one and we've started on a side. So we need to chain one because it's on a side and we're going into this next corner space here, as you can see. Now I'm going to crochet my ends in and then I'm going to show you how to sew in these red ones. All right, so that's two methods of dealing with the ends so this time I'm going to crochet them in I'm laying them across the back here just nicely I'm going to go into this corner and create a granny square corner that's a cluster of three double cro crochets then chain two and another cluster of three so yarn over go into the space and pull up a loop yarn over pull through two yarn over pull through two we do that two more times and that's the first cluster in the corner then we chain two yarn over go into the space and pull up a loop yarn over and pull through two, yarn over and pull through two. Let's do two more. Lovely. Okay, now we're going to move on to this space here, this, this chain one space. If you remember, it was a chain one because it's a side. So we're going to go into the chain one space. We need to make a chain because it's a side. Yarn over and let's make a granny cluster in there of three double crochet. Now I've just noticed that my little end is a little short there. I'm going to give it just a little tug so that I can crochet it in so we go in pull up a loop yarn over pull through two yarn over pull through two and as you see I'm weaving that in as I go and if I pull that back to where it should be you can see it's sort of disappearing yarn over go into the space yarn over pull up a loop yarn over pull through two yarn over pull through two 
it's another one for that center side space there we have it wonderful so we need to chain one and then work our way over to this corner remember a corner is a cluster of three double crochet followed by chain two followed by another cluster of double crochet so let's yarn over go into the space and make three double crochets chain two and make another cluster of three double crochets as you can see it's really taking shape and looking ever so pretty chain one and we're going to do a side now we go into this chain one space yarn over pull up a loop yarn over pull through two yarn over pull through two let's make another two to complete that cluster chain one and we make a corner cluster of three double crochets followed by two chains and another cluster of three double crochets a yarn over go into the space and pull up a loop yarn over pull through two yarn over pull through two let's complete that cluster chain two and another cluster it's looking good okay chain one into this chain one space and create another cluster of three double crochets we're becoming quite expert at this now chain one now we're going to create our last corner for this little granny square yarn over and create a cluster of three double crochets chain two and let's do another into this space a cluster of three double crochets Now to join it up together and to finish it off we need to chain one because we're going into a side and we need to count to the third chain from this chain here so one two three we need to go in to both parts there yarn over pull through and that's our slip stitch yarn over and pull through then snip your end off and give it a little tug so there we have it we have finished our little granny square now you can continue to practice on your own there let's just give it a little pull just get it a good shape there so remember um, as I just said I'm using US terminology in the UK these are trebles so this is a double for me now um, a corner again was a cluster of three double crochets followed by a chain of two then another cluster of three double crochets 
Now, if you were going on to the next round, you would do a corner in here. So that's a cluster of three, chain two, cluster of three. Then into this space here, you would chain one, then do a cluster of three. Chain one, another cluster of three. Then chain one and a corner. Chain two, one and a corner and, and a cluster of three. Chain one, another cluster of three. Chain one, a corner. Chain one, a cluster of three. Chain one, another cluster of three. A corner, three, three, and join. Okay, so we just keep going as you go, and you can make it as big as you like, or you can just stop it there. Okay, now I was going to show you how to weave in your ends. Now, there are two ways of doing this, and a lot of people use the um, tapestry needle that looks a little bit like that. That's my tapestry needle. I've got quite a few. I've just got them out. So it's got a lovely big hole in the needle there so that you can fit your yarn through. Another way that I do it is I get a three or a two millimeter. Oh, that's a three seven five. I've got a smaller one. That's a three. There we go. I get a three millimeter. Uh, I don't think you can see the number on that. It says three. There is a three millimeter. And I weave in with this if I haven't got my needle. And sometimes it's a little difficult to get your needle um, onto some of this thread. So thread this up. I'm not very good at threading. I really am not. Me and needles, we don't go well together, but uh, we get there eventually. <laughs> so what you want to do is you want to thread your yarn onto your needle there. And then we're going to just weave it in. You want to weave it in onto the backs. And just go through the back of these stitches. You don't want to go all the way through because you will see it. And that's the last thing we want. We don't want to see it on the other side. So just weave it in. The nicest place here I like are the big fat loops at the bottoms of the crochet stitches. It's a nice place to weave through. And you don't have to go all the way around. I just weave it in and then snip it off. I always save these little bits because you can use them as stuffing for amigurumi or little toys that you might make later on. So that's that one done. Now I'm going to show you how to do it also with the crochet hook. So I would insert the little crochet hook into those loopy bits, yarn over and wiggle it all the way through. go through some of these loops if I can pick them up. You don't have to pick all of them up. Yarn over and wiggle it through. I'm going to come back over this side as well. Go through some of the loops, being careful not to go through to the front. Yarn over and wiggle it through. So there, it's got the same effect. Snip that end off and save that little bit for stuffing. So I'm going to use my needle again for this one. What I, I learned to do this, and I found it a lot easier, is to fold it over and then sort of do a, a knife cutting action and it pops it through. So we've got this knot and we want to sort of hide it. So I like to go in between the next stitch there to tuck it in and then pull it through to the back. It just tucks it down and makes it nice and tidy. So I'm going to pull it through this next loop here. There, slide it off and I'm going to go through those loopy bits again. It's a little bit more complicated when you've got to this stage 
because this is the very end of my square here and I don't want to for it to be shown at all at the front so I'm going to catch the backs of stitches if I can and go through then I'm going to pop through those loopy bits and come out this side hopefully there now I've got this little tiny tiny tail which I'm going to pull over behind the dark purple snip it off and it disappears completely there and as you stretch it out as you see there it just sucks itself back under there and there you have it a completed granny square it's really pretty I hope you enjoyed this tutorial it's a little longer than the other ones uh, the beginning tutorials but it's totally worth it now you can produce a granny square and if you put them all together you can create a blanket or even a cardigan or a sweater or even um, clothes for teddy bears you can make whatever you want out of granny squares it's a classic design and it's brilliant a fantastic way to start your crochet journey so until our next video happy crocheting and don't forget to click subscribe like and the little bell take care